Hey, how you doing? I hate Covenant Babies here to talk about uh, gear and equipping your characters. Um, this one's going to be fairly short. It's fairly simple. Uh, this is your party, obviously. Uh, you got Glad, Ig, and Pro. Um, you can pretty much equip them with just, uh, Noctis with just about anything, actually. Uh, you're given four slots, which is, uh, usually on your D-pad if you're playing console. Uh, whoops. Uh, if you're playing PC, not really too sure what that is. It may be one, two, or three. I'm not even sure. Anyway, not gonna guess. Not gonna try, because I don't play PC. So, uh, again, these are the main swords. Uh, they got their attack values over to the right, which I have the ultimate blade. I got that uh, Well, I kind of I got that in chapter 3. I kind of finished up chapter 3 with the ending of the ultimate blade upgrade quest um, and then pretty much shot forward to chapter 8 and Have been running around ever since um, Just kind of having fun doing my thing been collecting I don't have anywhere near as many items as I should just because I basically, like, ran through the storyline. I've already been through the storyline once, so this is my second time through. Um, so, I should have more swords, but because I already knew about the Ultima Blade, um, I didn't need to buy any more swords. So, this is basically what I've looted so far. Um, the Masamune I got from, obviously, the uh, pre-order bonus. Uh... The Blade of Brenner is actually not too bad. I think I looted that item. But anyway, you can... Uh, Noctis can pretty much load up any kind of weapon in any of these four slots as well as spells. Um, and again, spells are in a different tutorial. So, uh, currently I have Swords of the Wanderer and Sword of the Wise my ultima blade and then I usually leave this slot open for uh, spells uh, my Xperia cast spells and I haven't made any yet because I haven't done any crest farming just yet so um, through your ascension menu system you are given a status column basically or status page uh, in that status page the bottom half uh, allows you to equip each party member with accessories. You start off with one accessory slot. You spend uh, AP for two and three accessory slots. There's actually supposed to be a total of three, but I have not gotten to that point yet because they are 333 ability points a piece. Um, very helpful. Accessories, obviously, is the... Uh, the longest standing system I have ever seen with any kind of franchise and Final Fantasy is amazing with it they have all these accessories that you can just equip all kinds of different abilities like HP recovery rates uh, enhances strength vitality spirit magic you can even have bulletproof uh, reduces ballistic damage, you know, so if the Empire shooting at you, you could throw on some bulletproof vests. You can change these out at any time during the game, even if you're in battle. Uh, a lot of times I like to change out uh, my Thieves' Way sometimes for, say, like an Ice Crest if I'm in a cold area or uh, a Fireproof enters, like if I go into because it gives me plus 20 percent fire resistance so if i deal with any kind of fire um lightning or ice uh type foes it reduces damage and it gives me all kinds of stuff um some of the ones you definitely want to own are star pendants, rainbow pendants, and uh, moon pendants. Usually you'll be in a fight and out of nowhere a mob will turn you all into frogs and it will be like, oh my goodness, what the heck do I do? Because you're basically a frog and you have to run around and you're getting slaughtered as a frog. That's pretty embarrassing. Um, I will admit I have done it quite a few times, but that's okay. Uh, live and you learn. Uh, moon pendants, I actually need to buy a couple more. I need to figure out where the vendor is for that. So, 
Uh, down here is attire, Princess Fatigues. You can actually adjust your stats. Like this one provides uh, extra strength and it looks like extra magic. If I were to equip it, and basically it's <laughs> it's no jacket, so he's kind of, yeah. Um, then there's this outfit, which <laughs> I have never seen before. That is ridiculous. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, change back. That's hurt my eyeballs. <laughs> okay. Well, something new, something fun. Um, I usually like to keep the jacket on just because it gives you more of an HP boost versus, uh, I don't know. Uh, but well, I guess maybe the higher level I get, um, I could leave the jacket off because it gives me more strength and uh, more magic. So actually, yeah, we'll do that. All right. So we're going to do that on every character. And again, um, Noctis is the only one that has this system right here. So when I change over to Gladio, uh, basically I could just look at his Tempest. I can actually change it to Dawnhammer. Ooh, nice. I, and then um, his primary arm is mostly great swords. Uh, he can wield the Masamune, but <laughs> why when the Hard Edge is, has an attack of 244 versus 88? Uh, flame Shield, actually. Let's see, what is my Flame Shield currently doing? Okay, so it gives me more attack, less defense. Nah. <clears throat> oh, more attack and more bullet resistance. Oh, that's not much of a drop. Yeah, let's go ahead and equip the power shield. Uh, this megaphone is awesome. This is uh, you'll you'll find uh, uh, character exclusive items like Thieves' Way is only Noctis. Megaphone is only Gladio, and it increases the party's HP recovery. So, in other words, like uh, when we're crouched behind something or just not in combat, or we just exited combat and we're almost dead, this guy's uh, megaphone will kick in, and we will start regaining real fast, which is nice. Uh, then again, you got all the other... Ooh, that one actually was kind of nice. All right, I got the Moogle Charm on him. Extra XP is always good. And we're going to go ahead and go no jacket. <laughs> just for fun, I want to see what his casual outfit is. That's actually not too bad. That's way better than what Noctis looked like. Alright, anyway, back to Crown Guard. Uh, let's see, let's change up. Yeah, a little seven. Yeah, yeah, we need to find him better daggers. Uh, we need to upgrade this drain lance too. So, we gotta figure out those. This friendship band is pretty nice. Uh, it's... So Link Strikes, if you hit an enemy just right uh, in the front, you will, and your friend is nearby, your friend will jump in on it and it will be considered a Link Strike. As far as that's what I know of, um, the actual mechanic itself I haven't looked up. Actually, I've looked up no information about this game, so everything I'm talking about is basically from experience. So if it's wrong, please correct me in the comments. Otherwise, uh, pretty much... This basically opens up the radius a lot more. So, like, if I get a link in, uh, Ignis, if he's, he could be farther away, but if he's not so far away that it, it's out of this range, he will be able to jump in on that link and it will help with, uh, my overall score to get more experience. I gotta see it. Oh. Uh, not too bad. Uh, suspenders. Yeah, I can only imagine. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, I don't know. Interesting. And then finally, this guy. Change him. Let's see. Yeah, we got, we got to find these guys better weapons. Yeah. So camera stop, or camera strap, rather. He just takes extra pictures. Uh... <laughs> okay, so this target scope apparently is an accessory of being a bully. Um, he gets stronger when he's fighting something way smaller than him, which is kind of, I don't know, it's kind of funny to me. Uh, if you don't think that's funny, then I guess you've been bullied too many times, but I'm a huge dude, so I think that's kind of funny. <laughs> um, oh, do I dare? 
Whoa. Uh, yeah, uh, no. Okay, there we go. Sweet. All right. So now that we've checked out every person's or every character's <laughs> ridiculous. Oh my God, I got to see this again. All right. Oh, look at me. I'm retarded. Yeah, real cool, dude. I guess that's what, uh, <laughs> that's what the look is, uh, ca casually nowadays. I don't know. I'm old school. I, I'm from the eighties guys. I hate to say it, but I grew up born and raised in the eighties and yeah, so I'm not stuck there. It just, a lot of the stuff I see today is just kind of interesting. All right. So anyway, that's the gear tutorial. Uh, that's all the characters. Um, you can actually turn the guide on, which is this, and it'll, it'll run you through. Um, it's helpful in a way, but at the same time for me, it's all about experience. I can't just sit and read, uh, cause sitting and reading kind of makes my eyes cross. So anyway, uh, yeah, thank you for watching and watch out for the next one. I just want to thank you for watching my video. Please like it. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more Final Fantasy. Otherwise, please leave me a comment and, uh, as far as what you think. And yeah, again, look out for more videos. Thank you.